Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Um, so today I want to talk about tubular locks. Um, if you don't know, these are tubular locks. Um, but if you're going to get much out of this video, you probably should already know that. This is a tubular lock impressioning tool. Uh, this is one of the cheapest ones you can get. Um, it does work. I mean, it's not definitely not the best but it's the only one I have right now so this is what I will be using so generally to impression these locks what we do is we zero out all these little fingers here these rubber bands put tension on the fingers in the better ones you kinda screw down a nut there and it puts tension on there you're gonna align the arrow with the tensioning notch and I don't know if this is gonna work because I intentionally chose these to not but Let's give it a shot. You're just going to push down and turn. And those little arms will work their way up. And there we go. So that is now open. And we now have a key for that lock, which is impressioned on this tool. There are, however, a lot of these locks that are designed to defeat these tools with differing strength pins, um, what are called uh, rat tail drivers that have a long um, like pin at the end of the, the back of the driver pin to make it set at a different height than the others. Um, and normally what you would do is use a... I don't have my... oh yeah I do, okay. You would use a tensioner like the goat wrench, which I'm about to, if I can pull it out of my kit here, you would use something like this to tension the lock. Um, if it's a outward tensioning, you'd use this. If it's an internal tensioning, you use this side. This is a little bit big. It doesn't tend to fit these very well. Um, I have probably just slips under there. For most of the ones I encounter and these are all standard 7.8 millimeter but anyway a tool like this you'd put it in there get tension and push down each of the pins with like a probe or something but I was thinking Peterson had a tool called the uh, the pro one I think it was for picking tubular locks and it was this big Sputnik looking thing where you'd push down the, the fins on the end. But what I did and what I do is just take this tool and if I'm sitting there trying to impression a lock and it's not working, you know, I'm trying for a long time, whatever. Well, that obviously worked better than I thought it would. But well, now I can't get it locked. Anyway, let's see if we can do that again real quick. Now it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. Good demonstration then. So what we do is all these little fingers here come pre-bent like this on this tool. Um, but we don't want any tension on them right now. So I went ahead and straightened all of them out. And now I'm just going to take all of these rubber bands off of here. There we go and we are going to use this tool where these move very freely to pick this lock. So I'm going to go ahead and line that arrow up like I normally would make sure all the fingers are inside and sitting on pins like they should be but then instead of doing what I would normally do and impressioning this thing I'm going to put tension on and then I'm just going to go around and push these fingers down we just got to click on that one and we're just going to go around and whichever ones are binding we give them a little click and then we move on to the next one and we just keep going around and around and around and we are basically single pin picking this lock there we go all right, let's do that again, get it back to its normal position. Try to 
tension with this hand and pick with this hand make it a little easier for you to see. Alright, that one was binding. That one was binding. Sometimes you have to go back and forth between a couple of them because they'll kind of ping pong. And also, sometimes if you overset a pin, you just loosen up tension a little bit and start over. Now it's giving me a hard time, of course. Put a little more tension on there. Sometimes you really do have to go around a ton. This gives me too much more trouble. I don't want to make this a super long video, but I just oh. I was oversetting that one pin a lot. I can feel it moving a little bit at a time. We're almost there. There it goes. Okay. But, yeah. So, basically, that's it. Um, you just use this, uh, take the tension off of these fingers, and use it to single pin pick the tubular locks. Um, helps me out a lot. And then once you get it picked, you can actually stop between um, pin positions, put the rings back on, get an impression of the lock, and then you've got a key. So... There we are. Hope that uh, hope that helps someone. All right, all. Take care. Have a great night or day or whatever it is. Stay safe out there. See you on the next one.